color setting that I've applied to the adjustment layer is affecting all these clips below it. So you can change things like the position of all the clips, change the scale, opacity, and so on. What's up, Robert here, coming at you with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So to create an adjustment layer, let's come over here to the project panel and click on the new item icon down here and go to adjustment layer. Now this brings up the video settings for the adjustment layer, which usually pulls from the sequence. So if you need to adjust this, go ahead, but it's not necessary in this case. So I'm just gonna click okay. And here we have the new adjustment layer. I'm gonna click and drag it into my timeline and stretch it out to the length of my footage below it. Now we have the adjustment layer enabled and ready to go, but you can see it's not affecting any clips just yet. So the adjustment layer works just like it does in Photoshop and After Effects. Any effects that we apply to this clip or adjustment layer is going to affect all clips and tracks below it. And anything above the adjustment layer will not be affected. So let's go ahead and add an effect to this layer by going to the effects panel here. And I'm gonna add a Lumetri color effect. Just click and drag that to that adjustment layer. And for time's sake, I'm just gonna add one of these input LUTs. Let's go with this one for now. And so now the color setting that I've applied to the adjustment layer is affecting all these clips below it. If I drag a clip above it, you can see it's no longer being affected by that layer. So you can see this is a very powerful tool. And not only can you adjust colors and different effects similar to that, you can also adjust the position of all the clips below it. If we add the transform effect and click and drag it to the adjustment layer, now we can transform the clips below the adjustment layer. So you can change things like the position of all the clips. You can um, change the scale of all the clips below that layer opacity, and so on. You can also stack adjustment layers, and as you can see, it uh, repeats the effect over and over again, just keeps getting stronger. So I'm gonna delete those, and that is the power of adjustment layers here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, let me just go ahead and finish this off, because we, we have to make this right, right? So let me just add this overlay here, do the forbidden task of scaling the footage above 100%, and bring the opacity to 50%, change the blend mode to vivid light. Let's go ahead and preview the final outcome. Nice, so we can affect all these clips down here without having to click on each one or pasting the attributes to each individual clip. If you're color correcting, sometimes different clips and scenes have different color correction settings, so it may not be useful for that, but it will be handy for cases where you need to apply an effect to all the clips or even an adjustment and so on. So there you have it. Hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.